Good morning everybody, this is a video explaining how to add summary options to your reports in Microsoft Access. As you can see, I'm in Microsoft Access here and I'm in the Record Orders database, which you've been using over the last week or so for your exercises. So I hope it looks familiar to you. I'm going to create a report and I'm going to base it on the orders table. So I'm up here in the Create menu or Create Ribbon and I'm clicking Report Wizard. I'm going to base my report on the orders table. I'm going to choose the fields Music Device, Price, Supplier and Name of Item. I'm going to group my report by Supplier. I'm not going to choose any sorting in this report, but I am going down here to the Summary Options button. In here, we get a list of any field in the report that has numerical values in it, so numbers in them. In this particular report, we only have one field that has numbers or numerical values in the field, and that's the price field. So, that's the only field listed here, and it's the only field that we have these options for. In another report, you may get two or three different fields here, all of which would have numbers in them, and you could choose which calculations on which fields you want to do. In our example here, we have the price field, and we have the option to calculate the sum or the total of prices in any given category, or the average, or the minimum, or the max. So in this example, I'm going to choose sum. So I want the computer to calculate the totals of the prices in a given category. You can decide to show the detail and the summary. And what that means is it will show the individual records along with this calculation. Or if you chose summary only, it wouldn't show the individual records. It would only show this calculation over here. In this example, I'm going to choose to show the detail and the summary. So I'm going to click on OK. And then I am going to click on Next. I'm not going to make any changes to the layout. I'm going to choose the landscape orientation though, and I'm going to click on next. I'm going to leave the name of the report as orders, and I'm going to preview the report now by clicking finish. So here's your report, and you can see it's grouped by supplier. So the first supplier avatar, you'll see here it says summary for supplier avatar, one record, one detail record. So there's only one record available for Avatar, and here is that record. There's the music device, there's the price, and there's the name of the item. It puts the sum or the total down here, and in this example here, the total is the same as the price of the particular item because there's nothing to add up. There's only one item here in this particular grouping for the supplier Avatar. But if we look at the next supplier, the next supplier is Commodore. And it says here, summary for supplier, Commodore, three detail records. So there's three records in our database that have the supplier Commodore. And you can see, look, here's the detail of the records. There's the three music devices. Here's the three items and the three prices. And you can see underneath, look, it's added up the prices, the three prices, and the total is 43.98. So this is the calculation, the sum calculation that the computer is after doing for you. This is the summary option that you have chosen to include in this report. So I hope that gives you a good idea of what adding summary options to your report means and looks like. Um, I hope you get on well practicing this technique and if you have any questions just let me know. Thanks guys!